Hey everybody, David the AI Guide here. Welcome to another episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. Also, be sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and now Instagram. And please support us on Patreon because we just launched YouTube Shorts last week and we can bring you more and more quality content if you could support us even at a dollar a month. Even that small amount will help us prepare more and better content for you. So please check that out and we appreciate your support. Um, today we're going to follow up on last video which was about electric vehicles and how that is going to completely sweep the globe over the next 10 to 15 years to where most fleets are full electric less than 15 years from now. So that is about manufacturing, right? Manufacturing electric cars, manufacturing batteries. And we're gonna stick with manufacturing this time because a lot of the cutting edge of AI and automation is happening in manufacturing. And a great example of that is Stanley Black & Decker, which is an old company. Uh, they call it SBD, Stanley Black & Decker SBD, has been around for 178 years, which for the U.S. is very, very old. And it's one of the most successful, most durable manufacturing companies. So Stanley and Black & Decker were separate companies, but they merged some time ago. And there was a great article in Industry Week about multiple initiatives that they have undertaken and are still working on that hit all of the spots we previously talked about. So one of the initiatives that they launched is Cobots, and we've been talking about this a lot lately because Cobots will are, is the first step of revolutionizing manufacturing. So again, to remind you, a Cobot works with a human. It doesn't replace the human outright, uh, although it takes fewer humans to monitor cobots than it does to work without the cobots, so some people are assigned to other tasks and so forth. But they have put cobots into 100 to 120 different applications in their global manufacturing system. That is very very high implementation. So cobots are maturing very, very quickly. And the scale that they're using them, like uh, at this scale, is what's helping drive down the cost. We talked about previously how I went to an automation show back in 2018, and then two years later, a particular cobot, because it was a cobot, it wasn't a, a, ro a fully autonomous robot, that cobot had dropped in cost from 100000 to 50000 in only two years. And the reason why is because of there starting to be massive adoption of cobots in huge corporations. And what's the benefit? Big time efficiency improvements. And then when combined with AI, which is one of their other initiatives, it has transformed their workplace to be much more flexible and agile, meaning I'm going to give you an example of that. So they are using AI not in the way that you would think at first, but they have a system called Stephanie that they came up with along with the company DeepHow, that's for training. So this Stephanie system has significantly increased the capabilities of their existing employees. It's what's called now, there's so many buzzwords coming out every year now, it's crazy, but they call it upskilling, making people more skilled than they were before. Why? Because we've talked about this in the farming sector. Instead of just being a farmer, you have to know AI and software, well, it's the same in manufacturing at big companies. 
This is a profound change in this AI-driven system called Stephanie, helps provide the training needed for their workforce to be successful making this adjustment. But it's not just that. They have focused on creating work cells, and what a work cell does is allow you to change the product you're making by software only. Right now, uh, because I, I work with people who have factories right now, um, most factories, especially men and small ones, don't have this stuff yet. And that means every time they want to stop making one product and start making the next one, they have to have humans go and take, take down the machine, clean it up, change the setup of the machine completely, and do a test article to make sure that the new product is being made correctly. That's extremely time consuming. What SPD, Stanley Black & Decker, is able to do now is do all that from a console using software, and that software is AI enabled. So this is a profound change because it virtually eliminates setup time and it 100% eliminates mistakes because when human beings change the setup of a machine, it's very, very easy for them to make a mistake. And then the people I am working with in, who uh, have factories in terms of automation and stuff, they um, are uh, not only can there be mistakes, but these people who set up machines are very highly trained. And when one of them leaves, everything comes to a stop because all the people working there do not know how to set up these machines and that knowledge is gone. With a system like Stephanie for training and work cells, software driven and automated switching, that problem is gone with employee turnover. One of the things that SBD found they really had to do is they implemented AI, and we've talked about it, not like this, but differently, um, is create strict software standards. So every new application they come up with, every new system or app has to meet these very strict standards so that everything keeps working together. Because they said earlier on when they started the AI initiative and the work cell initiatives that are driven by software, a lot of stuff wouldn't talk together and it wasn't working properly. Integration of computer system is the most difficult and most important piece of any operation when you have, when you don't have a single computer system running everything, which is called an ERP, Enterprise Resource Planning System. Um, that's easier because everything's tied into one system and there's one source of truth. When you have multiple systems, like a 178-year-old company with global operations in very different states of technology, uh, uh, when you're in that environment, you have to have strict software standards so that everything globally will talk together and roll up to corporate so they can know in real time what's going on. So uh, again, manufacturing, a million jobs open in U.S. manufacturing today. It's something to think about. Uh, but. Uh, the big manufacturers are going to drive the use case for robots, cobots, and AI for automation purposes. So thanks. I hope you liked this episode. And look for our shorts coming out this week. And please support us on Patreon. A dollar a week will make big changes here. And also be sure to keep following us on Facebook Twitter, and now Instagram. Thanks so much for your support. Please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.